everyone. It's Zen Mommy with My Mommy Manual, and today I'm blessed to be with my friend Lloyd Klein Harvey, who is a visionary. He is an organic artist, and I'm about to show you some of his work. And I wanted to just do uh, to just let it sink in and see what does it say to you. What do you feel when you see this work? And I will also be able to share with you. Lloyd's expression of how this art speaks to him. So we have a, a joy today to hear in, in Lloyd's own words, he will read to us how his art lives for him, and then a blessing for me as he'll share the poem that I wrote to him about his work as well. Blessings all. Bye-bye. Nature heals the wound of our suffering and takes us to the next level of life. The natural materials of twigs and leaves and branches found in our surroundings are all fragile and remind us how fleeting and tender life is. As an artist, I weave these empirical materials into intricate patterns of interconnectedness to continue to remind me that we touch each other and no one stands alone. The objects here are born out of meditation and can in turn become objects of your own contemplation or simply seep into your mind stream. As I engage in all stages of this work from collecting materials to weaving them into messages of understanding and compassion, I maintain a strong intention to further peace within myself and in the world. May the works of art in this collection benefit all sentient beings. So I'm going to read The Fabric of Life by Susan Tucker. Sometime, space between us are to outnumber connections, and I feel alone. Just like then, boom, I'm reminded by you, a stranger, connection. It's really there all the time between everyone I meet and even those I don't, but sometimes I forget. I walked into your art studio and instantly feel the energy of colorful Japanese memories from trips not long ago, of children dancing, flowers growing, and grandmother's loving touch. From each piece a story emerges, and with each story the Creator is made known. I meet them through torn edges, twisted prime, crinkled paper, and glued on magazine clippings through discarded egg cartons, marked on paper, paper rubbings, and plastic packing meat trays, sterilized, of course, each one shouting, Wake up, you! Don't you see it? Then you go into your story. Words leap out and began to take shape. Left St. Louis, New York, Mexico, and like one of your eclectic collages, friend, hospital, death, which surrounds us. I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. A beautiful creation. Feel music at the bar, walking, takes shape. So now there is a connection so palatable it cannot be denied. Your story leads to my story. My story leads to his story. Three stories and now we have a braid. And so on and so on. Our stories all entwined and such is the fabric of life. Connection. <laughs> 